these are the time zones of the world and these are the time zones of Australia, but these maps are missing an entire time zone. In fact, all these maps are Australian Central Western Standard Time, UTC plus 8 hours and 45 minutes. Central Western Time is the time zone for this little corner of Australia along the Air Highway, just east of the tiny settlement of Kaiguna in Western Australia. A sign on the highway lets you know to change your clock. Central Western Time, or Border Time, extends about 340 kilometres from just outside Kaiguna to Eucla in Western Australia, and just over the state border to Border Village in South Australia. These roadhouses and tiny accompanying settlements have a total population of just a few hundred people. So how did this stretch of the highway get its own time zone? Why is it 8 hours and 45 minutes ahead of Universal Time? And why is it missing from so many maps? This section of the country sits on the Nullarbor Plain and fulfills many of the stereotypes about Outback Australia. It's hot, it's dusty, there are barely any trees and very few people live here. It's at least a five hour drive in either direction to the nearest small town of at least a thousand people. But because of its location, Eucla was the perfect spot for a telegraph station in 1877, a link in the chain that connected the west coast to the rest of the continent. It's hard to find an official source on the origins of this time zone, but it could have been to avoid confusion at the telegraph station, as Western Australia and South Australia are in different time zones. But the telegraph station is near the border. I was told the same story at the Eucla Roadhouse when I visited, but it also should be noted that back in the 1800s, borders weren't as fixed as they are now, especially out in the middle of the Nullarbor, and especially because states didn't even exist back then. They were separate crown colonies, and the definitive survey and marking of the boundary on the ground didn't happen till the 1920s. So there were lots of reasons to be confused about what time it was near the border. Since 1899, South Australia's time zone has been based on the half hour. So a time zone between Western Australia and South Australia is set on the quarter hour. But even though the telegraph station is long since decommissioned, the border time zone lives on. Because for the locals, it's actually very practical to have an extra time zone between Western and South Australia. Because Eucla is more than 1,000 kilometers east of Perth, during summer, when the sun rises at 5 a.m. in Perth, it would be rising earlier than 4.30 a.m. Eucla if they shared the same time zone. With Central Western Time, that difference can be normalized. So the people of the Nullarbor get more daylight during their local working hours. Border time also allows the small community of roadhouses along the air highway to function as just that, its own community. Without Central Western Time, the roadhouse and staff of Border Village, just 12 kilometers down the highway from Eucla and over the South Australian border, would be one and a half hours ahead from the rest of the roadhouses on this stretch of the Nullarbor. Border time allows these roadhouses to share a time zone, regardless of what time their parent states declare it to be. And that brings me to the last question. Why is Central Western Time missing from so many maps? Well, it's because neither the Western Australian, nor South Australian, nor Australian governments recognise it as being an official time zone. Despite it being signed on the road, locals living by it, and tracked by various time zone databases, it's not an official time zone, according to the states that it overlaps. But that doesn't make it any less real. You can set your phone to it, or you can go to Google right now and find out what the time is in Eucla, and it'll give you the time in local Australian Central Western Standard Time. So although many maps do still show Central Western Time as a tiny little outline, plenty also don't showing its unofficial status seems to have created a bit of confusion amongst time zone maps, with some maps showing all the time zones tracked by common time zone databases and others showing only official time zones. But for now, border time remains a little surprise for visitors to the area, a little rebellion of the locals doing what's convenient to them, a little quirk of Australian time zones. So if you're ever driving the Nullarbor, you can look forward to experiencing Australia's tiny and somewhat hidden time zone. Thanks for watching.